Here's lesson 102, number 10. It says solve for x using Kramer's rule. So you can use whatever um, method you like for solving, um, the, getting the determinants of the matrices. Um, I kind of like the, well, when I look, see how there's like some zeros? I, I plugged in some zeros um, for the missing variables. Um, when there's a lot of zeros and ones, like I just made a coefficient matrix right here. See, I just took the coefficients. And I see there's like a lot of zeros and ones, and it makes me want to use um, expansion by minors, or your book calls it cofactors. So I'm just going to show how to use uh, cofactors method. But you could do that other method if you like that better, the one where you list all these three um, columns, and then you take column one and column two and you write them behind here and then you make those diagonals. You can do it that way if you want to. Whatever way you can figure out to get the determinant of the matrix right here. So first step for Kramer's rule is you got to get the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So that's just this part right here. So I'm going to use cofactors or um, Another name for it is expansion by minors. I'm going to try to call it cofactors because I noticed your book likes to call it cofactors. So I can use any row or column. I think I chose to use this bottom one because I saw a 0 and a 1 and those are easy numbers to multiply by. Um, so what you do first is there's an imaginary checkerboard. It goes plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus minus. So these are the ones down here that I'm interested in. So that's a plus, so I'm going to leave the sign the same. That's a minus, so this 2 right here, that's where that negative 2 came from. Okay, that 0, I didn't even bother to write it, but there would be a 0 times some matrix here, but I don't even feel like wasting my ink on it. Because 0 times anything is 0. So now you just um, go 1 times where did this little matrix come from? Well this little matrix came from if you cross out the row and the column of whatever your coefficient is then inside here then that's where, see it matches that's where that matrix came from. Okay and then where did this little matrix come from? Cross out the twos column and the twos row and see how you have 3, 0, 1, 2 3, 0, 1, 2 so that's where that came from. Why is there no other one here? It's because I it's zero times anything zero, and I didn't write it. Okay, so then you just um, negative one times two is negative two minus three. Oh, I even wrote it down there, and that's negative five. And then five times is that a five or a three? I guess it must be a three. Okay, so three times two, and then minus zero, so that's six, and. So you can follow this little arithmetic. There's my negative 5 minus 2 times that turned out to be 6. That made negative 17. So now I started getting carried away and I, th I started finding x, y, and z and I realized they only wanted x. <laughs> so that is going to be the, the um, denominator of a fraction that is the, um, it's going to be x. Okay, so here's how I get x. That's the denominator, that 7, negative 17 came from the coefficient matrix. And then there's a new matrix up here. So where did this matrix come from? This matrix came from your original coefficient matrix. But see, I replaced the first column with the um, constants. See that? And you've done this before in like last year and um, in other problems. Okay, and then I left the rest of the columns the same. Okay, and then I'm just going to do expansion by minors or we call it cofactors. I know it's super hard to see. I decided um, I liked to use this this column right here. So I found my um, checkerboard plus minus plus. So I know that one's going to be a plus. Minus plus minus. So that came from this two right here. And then the zero, I'm too lazy to write it down. It's zero times anything zero, so it's going to go away. Now, where did this little matrix come from? It came from going to cross out the column in the row that the one is in, and then I got four, three, five, two. See, 
that's a little tiny four three five two and then um, where did this one come from cross out the row in the column zero negative one five two that's where that came from and then if you can even see this tiny little thing you go four times two is eight minus uh, five times three I even wrote it right here eight minus fifteen okay so that gave me that's where my negative seven came from and then that's supposed to be a ten right there I I forgot to multiply it by the two out here the first time and I had a five and I messed up but so zero times two is zero minus negative five zero minus negative five is positive five positive five times negative two that's supposed to say negative ten right there you'll see that when I add these two together I get negative seventeen over seventeen so what's x? It's 1. And then if you want to do it all over again, you can do it for y, but don't do that because it only asked you for x. So the answer is just x equals 1.